What's up, challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name is Gym Leader Geo, and this is my blind Pokemon Sun and Moon playthrough, episode number 21. We are, um, while I was off screen, I caught, uh, Stuffle, which is a super adorable Pokemon. Uh, it is a pink normal fighting type, and I'm, I'm, I'm like, find myself wondering what he's gonna evolve into. So, I dropped baby Nick to the box, even though he's so cool, and I just evolved him. I gotta keep cycling through these new Pokemon and see what we got here. So uh, I'm turning in the, the quest now and that's kind of where this episode is starting. So uh, you've caught a Stuffle. Would you show me your Pokedex? I'm gonna see what the side quest uh, nets us here. Biology of this Stuffle is one that we hadn't yet uncovered in our own research. This is the next level of detail I would expect from the Pokedex. Here's your pay. Is it just money again? Man. I mean, I love side quests. I just, I wish there was, I wish they'd give me something besides just money all the time. And then the weird thing is that the, the Drifloon got me 10k and the Drifloon, I mean, it was hard to catch in the sense that I didn't realize that I couldn't catch it in the area I was trying to catch it at first, but it wasn't like a difficult Pokemon to find. Whereas the, the Feebas took me so long to find. And that was only worth 3,000. So, either way, in the last episode, we got two evolutions. That was a big episode for us. Yeah, it was a good episode. Last episode was a good episode. I feel good about that. Um, one thing I, I'm realizing, I feel a little bad that I didn't... I should have been... I should have recorded catching the Snuffle or the... Stuffle live. I, I I don't know why I decided to do that off screen because it's a new Pokemon So like I recorded it when I was in battle with it, but I, I feel like I should have had that So that was a mistake on my part. Uh, I don't know why I opted to do that. Maybe to save you guys some time I don't know uh, So here we go lush jungle designated trial site for the island challenge um, There's a down and an up it's a down and an up. Let's go up first. Lush jungle. What's down then? What's down here? Conspicuous rock. Stoutland. What you got? Sniff it out. You got something. Oh, look, over by this rock. PP up, not bad. Uh, what do we have here? Read it to me. Lost Jungle is up. Brooklet Hill to the left. So we have Fly now, so we can come back here. Uh, we got attacked by a, a running dirt. What is it? A Rattata again? It's a Diglett. Wild Diglett appeared. Oh yeah, so here, so here's the stuff I decided to put on the team. He's fighting normal types, so I decided to name him Kung Fu Fu after Sam, a.k.a. Fu Fu. Another fellow member of the of the GBA. He knows Brutal Swing. Uh, a 60 power physical dark type attack. He also knows Leer, Bide, and Baby Doll Eyes. He went for Astonish, but that's Ghost and doesn't affect Normal. He's gonna drop my speed, but he was already out speeding me. So we're gonna go for another Brutal Swing. Brutal Swing sounds like it should be so powerful, but it's only base power 60. Interesting how that works. So we take out the Diglett. And continue on our merry little way. There's a Zygarde cube there that we just stuck onto. We've got a little kid here that wants to battle. Let's see if he's got anything interesting. His name is Caleb. I knew a Caleb. I still know him. He didn't go anywhere. I just, I don't talk to him anymore. Youngster Caleb. Charge a bug. We have a charge a bug, but this won't be a very interesting battle. Youngster Caleb goes down after uh, charge a bug took out uh, Kung Fu Fu in one shot because it had, <laughs> it had acrobatics. And now I can't really... I can't really train up my boy. Is this an area I can walk? It looks pretty narrow. Probably not. No. Okay. Uh, I'm going to use a revive actually because I want to keep leveling up my friend there. 
And, you know, I'll never use my revives ever if I just keep holding on to them for no reason. So we'll heal them up. Build them up. Break them down. Yeah, where are we? We're This is right before we enter Brooklet Hill. Is that is that where we are? There's a trainer there. And there. Where are we? They, they claim that we're in Brooklet Hill and that we're right next to... Maybe there's a drop-off point right above the Brooklet Hill PMC? Gumi! So we have uh, the starting evolutionary chain of Gudra here, which is cool. But we're still gonna skip through this battle. And so Ace Trainer Alexis goes down. And that reminds me that I have not reallocated the held item there. We see a Hyper Potion. Uh, I still need to put the Amulet Coin back on... back on somebody. So let's give it to uh, Kung Fu Fu is leading the, the charge right now. That guy had a Sylveon as his second Pokemon. I think he's beast. Uh, another trainer battle here. Who we got? Who are you, Hiker? Hiker Gabriel. Like the angel of doom. Hiker down. Uh, conspicuous rock. Anything? Looks like no. Item up here, which is an ether. And we can drop down back to go force forth from whence we came. What just happened? Oh, probably a diglet. A dust. One of those dust clouds that decides to chase me down. Kung Fu Fu doesn't have a fighting type move, which is unfortunate. I wonder if... Oh, no, I have, um... I think I have a TM for Brick Break or something. I should be able to take out Diglett in two. My speed has dropped significantly. I should be able to survive one more hit. Oh, no. Magnitude? Is that a nine... Kung Fu Fu keeps going down, which is super frustrating. Ugh. He's kind of weak, but he's young. He's a new Pokemon. Can't be, can't be too mad. Help didn't appear. Good, because I don't want to keep this battle going on longer than it needs to. Let's finish off. Oh god, he outspeeds me, and it's four times effective. Now Coop's going down too. I thought I would outspeed. Diglett is fast. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay. Let's just brick break this and get it over with. Stupid fast Diglett. We're going to teach some moves to Kung Fu Fu here. Uh, something to just up his move pool a little bit. He doesn't need Bide. So we'll give him Rock Tomb just for some useful coverage. Against flying types, which uh, could be a problem. Uh, and we'll give him... Ah, things started moving. Um, we'll give him Brick Break also. instead of baby doll eyes. So now he's looking more, a little more terrifying. I also noticed that Rock Ruff, no, not Rock Ruff, uh, Lycan, whatever he's called now, can learn. Uh, and let's do that instead of, let's do that instead of Roar to mix up his move pool a little bit. Rock Dark and Fighting could be useful. Having Fighting in general can be very useful. 
And so we have a little walkway here that leads to a TM. Brutal Swing, which we saw, we've already got on our friend. And I guess we're done up here. So I can continue to drop down this way, and I will, just to kind of learn that this is apparently a way into Brooklet Hill. There's an item, some items, uh, or some grassy area there that might have items in it. So I'm going to pop... Oh, these are healing items. Let's pop a super repel and run around for a little bit. Just to see what we got. Okay, I remember this part. Yep, and so you run back up there. This is, and we're now in Brooklyn Hill or Route 6 or, or what have you. Yeah, I remember this area. Okay, so now we can just Charizard back to where we were. Uh, can we zoom in, please? This is Brooklet Hill. And up here is the challenge area that we're going to next. And here's the Pokemon Center in Route 8. So let's fly to there. Let's fly there. Um, this little detour ended up taking significantly longer than I thought, but it's it's good to explore this, explore these areas. Um, make sure that we got, make sure we got everything. I mean, I would have missed a pretty bad TM if I didn't go up that way. I d I am kind of disappointed when they choose to do that. When they choose to make TMs moves that, I guess I feel like TMs should be mostly competitively viable moves, but I, I also. I guess I do also appreciate having moves to use in the middle of the game, so I'm not too no, <laughs> not flying on Charizard again. We're already where we need to be. Let's get let's hop on, let's hop on Tauros. Let's hop on Tauros and let's try and uh, get through this lush jungle. Things keep popping up in this area, but I think we're nearly done with this uh, with this island. I think this is the third trial. This mallow. Thanks for stopping by. Welcome to Lush Jungle. The trial grounds for me, Mallow. I knew this is the first time I saw your team. You've chosen only the finest ingredients. That's why I'm going to make you help me. Er, no, I mean, that's why you should try my trial. You're the one who got a sparkling stone shape from Tapu Koko, aren't you? You're totally ready for this. Ah, Breath of the Jungle. I just can't tell you how special it could be. She's just talking about how special her jungle is. I'm sure that's a sexual thing also. Yep, it's got to be my personal specialty, the Mallow Special. I'm going to need you to find four ingredients. A mago berry, a tiny mushroom, a revival herb, and a miracle seed. Here you go. I brought you a forage bag to hold all the ingredients I gathered during my trial. I have a lot of those in my bag already. Just not a revive herb. When you're hunting for ingredients, you're going to want to rely on Stoutland's help. Okay. Got that. Let the mallow trial begin. I need to find four items. And Rotom says, I'm not a big fan of jungles. Where are all the comfy machines at, hmm? Stoutland is the best. Okay, he's just reminding me to use Stoutland in case people didn't know. Nothing here. Oh, wait, maybe. Yeah. There are some mushrooms spreading in the soil. Which one do you need? I need tiny mushrooms. But the big mushroom attacked! Is this like a, a Moongus? Ooh! shy -inotic. It's two eyes. So I'm wondering, is it shy -inotic or is it she -inotic? Like, how do you pronounce the double I? How do they want me to do it? It's Alola, and the way that you pronounce... The way you pronounce vowels in Pacific Islander languages is typically to double sound the vowel. So like O O in English would be oo, but in those languages would be o o. So I think it's shy anotic. But I don't know. I don't actually know. I'm just I'm just saying what I think. Thinking what I say. Let's brutal swing this guy. Oh my god, he's so He's got some defenses on him, but also, also, uh, Kung Fu Fu is kind of weak. 
I don't know what this Pokemon is. And he's ingrained, so he's just going to keep regenerating HP. Why am I staying in? I'm just wasting my time. He's already ingrained. Presumably a grass-type Pokemon. Let's, uh... Let's go Peck Peck. I just got a text from my cousin asking if I'm having Thanksgiving. Or if I'm working. I am off on Thanksgiving, fortunately. I work Christmas. Day and Eve. And New Year's. Uh, we might as well just pluck this guy, because... We can't catch it. You can never catch Pokemon in these trials. That's what we learned the old-fashioned way. Which is too bad because... <sighs> Shyanotic. We'll just finish him off here. Very cool-looking Pokemon by design. That pink. I like it. I'm interested to see what kind of stats it's looking like. So... Hey, it's me, Mallow. Ooh, a tiny mushroom. That's great. The secret into why they're so popular with some people. You'll have to try and find out what it is. Still three ingredients. You don't need to tell me that every time I get the... There's light there, but this is a new area. Poke many Pokemon love berries, so be sure to add them to your cooking whenever you can. The repellent's effect wore off. Uh, there's an item up there... A rustling bush. This trial is kind of interesting. Oh, a Fomantis. I know we fought a Fomantis. I'm pretty sure we caught one. Did we catch one? Yeah, it's got the little Pokeball symbol next to its health bar there, which means that we caught it. Should be able to take him out. Uh, he doesn't resist my Brick Break, which is Stab. Oof, I'm still so weak though. Is this going to take me out? It does. Uh, it was a crit. Man, this is a really weak Pokemon. I know I'm not high level with him yet, but he just keeps dropping to everything I do, and it's kind of crazy. Like, he can't beat anything one-on-one. -on -one. I shouldn't be too hard on him. The Femantis does out-level him, but it's just crazy, you know? Who wants to learn Flame Burst, which I think is special. Yes, it is. So let's use that instead of Ember. And then let's start. Uh, let's start using Coop here instead of instead of uh, Kung Fu Fu. We will revive the Kung Fu Fu, but we're not gonna we're not gonna battle with him anymore. Not for now. If Coop's going to be leading, though, he's going to have to... Uh, we're going to have to take his item. Because we have to give him... The amulet coin. We found a Mago Berry. And there's also a shining item behind me from the... Uh, Pokemon that attacked me from the tree. Hey, it's me, Mallow. Blah, blah, blah. Mago Berry. Sweeter its taste. Still two more ingredients. Honestly, she does not need to interrupt me every single time we're talking. It's just unnecessary, you know? Looks like there's another item over here. X special attack, just for funsies. I want that TM, though. How do I get there? It looks like it's stuck in a little... I wonder if there's a TM for, like, jumping. Kind of uphill area. Oh, and another item where? Down here. In that little nook. Behind the grass. X defense. I didn't want that. Didn't really care about that. Ah, that's a... Is that a path I can walk up? Yes, it is. Very cool. And an item here. A max revive. Haven't gotten into any battles here yet, so not sure what the Pokemon 
there are here that have to offer. Another sign. Revival herbs are short, shorter than nearby grasses, and they'll revive whoever eats them, so they're great to add to any dish. Except that they make your Pokemon hate you. Oh. We got a Hyper Potion. There's a lot of hidden items here. I guess that's kind of the point. They really want you to use Stoutland here. Covered in moss. Feels soft to the touch. I wonder if this is where you evolve Leafeon or something. Rather suspicious grass. Let's pull it up. It's a revival herb. Wait. No, it's not. On second glance, it's just a normal weed. And a Pokemon leaped out of the grass to attack. Take that, me. That's what I get. Famantis again. So let's just have Coop make quick work of this guy with Flame Burst. I no longer have my Z move, so... I don't need to tone it down a notch. But Flame Burst is a little bit stronger than the Ember I was using before, so it should make quick work of the grass Pokemon here. Especially if they're also part bug. It's a forest, so you could get bug types, you could get some grass types. All the types. I'm getting a feeling that if there's an item right here, it's going to be the wrong one again. Because it's not in the very back corner. Yep, it's just a normal weed. Again, I knew it. You gotta go to the farthest back. I should ignore them, but who knows. Could be a special item. I don't want to miss stuff. Goop will quickly beat this guy into the dirt. Two more items. I don't want this episode to be too long, but I also don't really want to edit it too much. We haven't done anything that really requires a bunch of editing. So hopefully I haven't had to... Getting nearby. There's a, some light here. Can I go in there? Can I crawl through? Oh, is this where that TM is? Alright! Grass Knot. That's a good move. That's competitively viable. I do not have a grass type Pokemon on my team, though. Uh, let's get back on the Stoutland. Yeah, they said something about shorter grass than the rest of them, so... There we go. Got the Revival Herb. And a Pokemon leaped out of the grass to attack. Nothing but Fromantis and the, uh, the Pokemon with the double eyes. Not saying, like, it has two eyeballs. It probably had two eyeballs also. If I'd been keeping better track, I would have noticed that. But more importantly, uh, two eyes in its name. And thus, the pronunciation game begins. Coop's doing well. And there's Mallow. Something about depth of flavor. Looks like no more items in there. Oh, wait. This rock probably has an item. Heal powder. A lot of grass here. Uh, we're done in this area. So just the upper right zone. Up here. And I think this should be the last item. Then a totem battle. And I think we're done with the lush jungle. What do you have to say? Berry seeds in the ground that gain especially rich and complex flavor. Mallow loves to eat. Uh, looks like we need Tauros Charge here. Come on and slam. There's an item on the ground. Stardust. Very cool. Is that a... Okay, so we got a, a big rock here, which we can't break with Tauros. We saw another one of those in uh, 10 Carat Hill. So presumably... Oh, a seed buried in the ground. I wasn't even on the right Pokemon. I was just kind of like hitting A because it's one of the... Sometimes items are left behind when you break things. So, um... That's what I thought. So, I just thought I would hit A. So maybe there is... That's like... It looks like the rocks you used to push with strength. So maybe there's a strength HM, if you will. Big Root. Groot. Uh, let's make sure we're not missing out any items on the way back down the hill here. Looks like no. And we're on to, a, I'm guessing, a battle with Mallow. Great, now we have all the ingredients we just need. Sorry to keep you waiting. How are you, Mallow? Oh, it's the other two guys. All the captains. Fire, water, grass. All in one spot. I brought a thick club and a rare bone. 
And Lana brought fresh water and a rocky helmet. Thanks, Lana. Thanks, Kiawi. Now we have everything we need. You're up next, Geo. You're going to cook up a storm and lure out the totem Pokemon of Lush Jungle. Let's see what you got for me. Mago Berry, Tiny Mushroom, Revival Herb, Miracle Seed, Mallow Special. Ooh, what's Rotom saying? Time for us to get a cooking partner. You'll have the totem Pokemon here in a flash. The aroma of a tasty dish will draw the totem Pokemon right to us. Ready to start cooking? Sure. Lana, flip the rocky helmet over and pour the fresh water in it. Put all the things. Give the thick club and the rare bone. Get the thick club and the rare bone. Pound it into a pulp. Press A to pound the ingredients. Wow. And then it zooms in on her crotch. Keep pressing A to finish the food. Crush it. Press A a bunch to crush it. Hee hee hee. Grind it. Seriously, zooming in on the crotch every time. Turn it to goo. Alright. I'm just following the game, guys. I'm just, I'm just doing what it tells me to do. <laughs> A unique aroma begins to waft around the area. I'll say it's unique. They have me grinding herbs and underbrushes and... Ooh. Pink. Luron! So this looks like Lurontis. Uh, so probably the little grass Pokemon we were fighting earlier uh, evolves into this. Lamantis and Lurontis. Look how pink he is. What's his stat boost going to be? Don't be speed. Darn it, it was speed. <laughs> I mean, I'm still... I'm very effective against grass types, so this should still be alright. Let's go with a flame burst and see how we do. He's gonna hit me with a razor leaf. I four times resist that. It is a critical hit, though. So that's gonna be a three hit KO. Here's what we're gonna do. Um, cast form! Very cool! Cast form might actually make it a sunny day, so rather than go for him, I'm going to continue going for Lurantis. And I'm going to pop Dragon Rage this time, because there's a chance that he's only got 40 HP left. Uh, he's going to synthesis one way or the other, but we'll see which does more damage. The This is a little less... It's a 3-hit KO to do Flame Burst, but maybe, maybe two Dragon Rages will do the trick. Uh, looks like no. But now, I knew it! Sunny day! So now I'm going to power up my, my Flame Burst, and a second Flame Burst might actually do it. He's going to turn into Fire-type cast form. Uh, but I still I resist Fire also, so I should be okay there. Yeah, under the Sun, I'm pretty sure Flame Burst should be able to take out Lurantis. He is going to full heal every single time he pops Synthesis, though, where it's two-thirds of a heal. But I should be able to... Critical hit, that was good. Bursting Flame hit... Oh yeah, it's a spread move. I forgot about that. Ouch. If he honestly keeps hitting... That's the one thing. If she keeps popping... Uh, synthesis in the sun... Yeah, it looks like she is. Shoot, I need Taunt. Doesn't quite heal it to full, but unfortunately, the only reason I did as much damage as I did with the last hit... Was because... Oh, and Headbutt's going to take me out. The only reason I was able to do as much damage as I did with the last hit was because I got a crit on it. I, I need a status on this thing. What can I do here? What can I do? Um... I can put it to sleep with a little P, but I don't really want to. I don't really want to risk that. Pecky Peck is also gonna also gonna have a super effective move for it. Solar Beam, which I resist. Oof! Almost didn't matter, and Peck Peck might even go down here. Go figure, the one time he opts to go for an attack. Hopefully I outspeed this thing. 
Does flame charge increase my speed? It does raise my speed. So it might be worth doing this anyway. Because if Lunatus... He is going to go for the synthesis. Shoot. Maybe I should have gone for the pluck instead. Uh, I just realized... May, or Roost. Roost would have made sense also. If I get a headbutt on me... Yeah, I think so. I think I go down here. That didn't work out. That's not really... That did not work out in my favor. The sunlight faded. And cast form goes back to little weak version of cast form. I gotta figure out something here. I really do. I need to lower its speed somehow. So, you know what? I'm gonna sacrifice Gruffers. As long as I can survive one Razor Leaf, as long as one Razor Leaf doesn't Oko me, I can get a Rock Tomb off on on Lunatus and lower its speed. I need its speed down. Okay, he's going to opt for a Solar Beam. It's going to take him two turns to get it off. Nope, he has a Power Herb. Come on! Ugh, come on. And now he's going to sunny day again, and this is crazy. This is absolutely ridiculous. Okay. Here's the next move. Bugnitude, what moves you got? Acrobatics, that's good. Bug Bite, also super effective. I mean, Bugnitude might just be able to two-hit KO him, but... Um, Here's what I'm going to do instead. I'm going to go Lil P. And I'm going to sing that thing to sleep. As long as I don't get one shot by his, uh, by his move. I know he's going to outspeed me here with his speed boost. Unfortunately, maybe I should have led with this. He's going to... Solar Beam in the sun again. Super effective from a Lunatus. This is, uh, this is a real problem. Bugnitude, you're up, bro. Now he resists, um, the non-fire. Acrobatics would be the best move if I'm not running an item, but I think I am. No, I'm not. So that makes Acrobatics a 110 base power doubled, so 220, versus Bug Bite. Which is 60 doubled is one, 120. So Acrobatics is my strongest move against Lunatus. X-Scissor, I resist. Weather Ball is Fire type. This is going to kill me, isn't it? You've got to be kidding me with this. A crit? Ah. <sighs> okay. Here's what we got to do now. This is ridiculous. This honestly is so ridiculous. Um, Kung Fu Fu won't survive anything at all. I need to pop a max revive. On, I'm assuming, Bugnitude? Uh, yeah, because I'm just going to go down to whatever. I mean, this guy could kill me with the weakest attack he's got. I think Bugnitude is my way to win this. But Weather Ball is my biggest issue right now. Um, Coop. Coop was surviving pretty well, actually. So let's bring Coop in, but let's heal him this turn. Yeah, I need to heal. I need to heal up. I need to not let myself go down. Uh, lemonade is probably the right move. 70 HP. I'm at 62. So let's pop this off. Razor Leaf, I resist. Actually, at the HP he's at, if he's not, if he's continuing to just lay the smack down. Ah, oh, the sunlight faded. So he's going to go for a... Cast Form's going to go for a sunny day here, I think. What I can do... Uh, 
Uh, I think I outspeed the cast form, so I think I am going to go first. I'm going to go for the flame burst here. No, I shouldn't. I think I should go for smog and try and get a poison. No, I shouldn't do that either. I need the sun. Honestly, I do, but uh, I think in my best move here, tank the razor leaf. Go for the flame burst. And uh, the sun should go up in this turn. Yeah. I hope I can survive another... Uh, I might not be able to survive another round of attacks here. I can definitely survive what Lunatus has to offer. I'm pretty sure. Let's go for the Flame Burst one more time. Let's try and take out this Lunatus. He does have another Synthesis. He's going to be running out of those, though. If I'd been smart, I would have kept track of how many he's got. But the problem with me doing what I did here is that if the Headbutt takes me out from cast form... It's close, but it didn't quite. This is turning into a really serious battle. But it's 2v1, so I don't feel so bad about it. But this is uh, turning into a long episode also. He's going for Razor Leaf this turn. Another Headbutt. He keeps knowing the exact turn that... I, so I could have taken him out. Solar Blade. Or Beam, or whatever. This should mean he goes down. He should drop here. He does. But here's the issue. A headbutt from cast form is going to kill me. And then a weather ball onto Bugnitude will take out Bugnitude. So I have to revive again. Because I cannot survive... I cannot survive the weather ball. And this is my last Pokemon. So I have to revive something. Goodness me. Six revives left. Lil P. Probably the safest move. Gruffers is also not bad. Let's go Lil P. I live on two and the sunlight fades, so he's going to have to... I'm assuming he's not going to be wise enough to go for the headbutt here. But maybe he will. He's going to outspeed me, so he's going to be fire type. Bug bite would otherwise be my strongest, but spark will be. No, he's going to go for the headbutt. Man, they are smart in this game. I thought the AI would have meant that he just put up the, uh, the sun there. I send out little P. And let's, uh, I mean, I could sing, but I'd rather scald. Potentially not a burn. Oh, I just kill him outright. So that was the right move then. So that was just absolutely crazy, honestly. That was a really difficult battle. 2v1ing me the whole time with that, that combo of sunny day to. The fact that he had a power herb was just insult to injury. I would have taken him out that turn. I can't believe he was holding a power herb. So he bowed right down to me. Everyone's talking about how good I am. Calling me a real trainer. I am a real trainer. And I get lethium. Trial complete. All right. Trial complete. They're probably going to talk to me a little bit longer and just tell me how great I am. This is how you do grass. Alright, it's like a sun salutation. <laughs> Since you've already cleared my trial, help me train some Pokemon from here in Lush Jumble Jungle. Here's some nest balls. So, they always give you balls to help you catch Pokemon in the area. It looks like Lorantis didn't finish all the food. He's going to have a bite. If you insist... Lick. 
So I'm all just going to chomp down, have a little meal together. The rare bone fills my whole mouth. Tastes so good you might melt. Wait, why is that my tongue that's melting? It's so spicy. Oh, I see. Oh, they're off to Olivia's for the grand trial. So we're now done with all the little trials. This is going to be Kakui telling me like, whoa, what's that sweet smell? I smell drift in my way. Could it be a tasty malice special? I heard you cleared Malice Trial, yeah? Alright, I'll have a present for you. It's a little TM. This is a smart strike. Move they'll never miss. That's cool. I wonder what typing that is. There'll be all kinds of discoveries, new experiences to make your adventure brighter. There's a facility, yeah, that I want you to go check out on your island challenge, the Dimensional Research Lab. Let's get over there with extreme speed. That's a, ah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Extreme speed. I guess it's just gonna, like, teleport me there. Hey there, Geo. Guess I should be congratulating you on clearing all three of Akala's island trials. Congrats. Looks like it's time for you to take on Kahuna Olivia's grand trial. Olivia's an expert of rock-type Pokemon. You're going to want to catch some grass-type Pokemon in lush jungle to add to your team. Whenever you're ready for the grand trial, come meet me at the Dimension Lab. Route 6. Yeah, we went there earlier. Um, but it was not the right place to go. So I'm going to go back and heal. But that's going to be the end of this episode. And it was a long one. So thank you guys for hanging in there. That last battle really did take a crazy amount of time for me to finish. Uh, but I need to heal up because that was a tough battle. I had to pop some revives to get through that one. I'm lucky I was able to get through it at all, to be honest. All of my strong Pokemon... Uh, or strong against it had a difficult time dealing with the combo but um thank you guys for watching and uh that's gonna be it for this episode in the next episode we'll take on uh the kahuna olivia and then we'll be done with a column we'll move on to the next island so as always my name is Geo. you guys are the challengers thanks for stopping by and i'll see you guys next time